Davis, you understand how this whole process works, right? Like, you can fake a seizure all you want. Drain stop. I called Pryor. I talked to your sergeant. He's been faking seizures every time we touch him. Um, we just got him from the hospital, medically cleared. As soon as we tried to put oh, handcuffs okay. on him, he tried to fight us. Um, so he's 100% okay. He's just faking everything. In January 31st, 2022, police were dispatched to a motel in reference to a suspicious masked man they wished to have removed. Little did they know this suspect was going to try anything to not end up in jail. So... Boss security called us about this guy over here. Oh, he's still here? Do you guys want to bar him? Is he out in the parking lot? Yeah, I was oh, going to he's in the building? Yeah, building. He needs to go. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, but I have no problem calling. Okay. Yeah. Hey, sir. Sir. Hey, do you have an ID on you by chance? Okay, what's your name? Huh? What's your name? What is your name? Is there a reason why you don't want to give me your name? So what is your name? Zach Morris. Zach Morris? Okay. Why are you here, Zach? Um, I'm visiting somebody. Who are you visiting? Uh, Who's your buddy? Uh, 202. 202? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. Who's your buddy's name? Smith. Not with Zach Morris. What's his name? Your friend, what's his name? I'm not playing this bullshit with you, Zach. I know you, and you know me. So why are you just staring at me? Talk. Or you can go to jail. Those are your options. I was just using the computer. Okay, so why are you lying? Saying you have a friend here. You don't have a friend here. Because I didn't want to be here. Not really. Do you have a reason to be here? No, Legally? I just, I just no. Need, I just need to use the computer. Pick up that cigarette. We're not going to leave trash here. What's your birthday, Zach? I gotta my wife. Huh? I said I gotta go meet my wife. Okay, well, right now you're not. Right now you're talking to me. I had to talk to her on the computer. Okay, and I said right now you're talking to me. Because right now we have been called here because you've been here constantly throughout the night. You don't have a room here. I haven't been here at all. You haven't been here at all. So if I pull these video cameras, so you're, it's not going to show me that you've been... Not tonight. Yeah. Yes, sir. I've had, I've had Zach. Zach, what's your date of birth? Regardless, they don't want you here, okay? What is your birthday? You don't have any ID on you. No. Take your mask off. Take your hood down. And your hat off. So here's the thing. I know Zach Morris. You're not Zach Morris. I went to high school with Zach Morris. So what's going on? Who are you? Since I'm not out with Zach. Hmm? What's the deal? Negative. False name. Take your book bag off. Why are you giving me a fake name? Because now you're going in handcuffs. Uh, look, look. Nope. Can, can I just, can I just, can I, can we, can gonna, we talk? Can we talk? You, can we talk? I, I mean, I've been here for like five minutes can and you've just talk? been staring I'm at sorry. me. I don't know if I have once. Can we talk? Oh, okay. We You're going to handcuffs first, then we can talk. You really think you can just lie to police and we're not going to figure it out? Are we? You think we're that stupid? That we just are so oblivious to the world that we don't know anything? If you're going to give me a fake name, at least give me a fake name that I don't, a person that I don't know. Why well, you got a needle in your pocket right there? With Narcan. You're, you're diabetic, so you keep Narcan on you. Narcan's no, only for... That's not, Narcan. that's not Narcan. Okay, maybe you're right. But why are you sweating? Profusely. The scratches on your face, that's not from diabetes. No, I, I've gotten a bike wreck. Oh, you got a bike wreck and it only left scratch marks? From picking at it, that's drug mark. I'm not stupid. I work with drug addicts all the time. I bet you if I... Test what's in this. It's not, or there may not be now. But I, I bet you if I tested what was in it, that ain't gonna be diabetic medicine. All right, man, let's just play this easy, okay? okay? What's your name? What's your I'll real search, name? I'll search his bag and see if he's got anything. Don't make me part of the
Is it only five with a male? Not sure who he is. So here's the thing. The more you sit and just ignore us, the more charges I'm piling up on you. So, you choose. Oh yeah, you're under arrest. False name. If you refuse to tell us your real name, that's obstruction as well. So, you choose. Yeah, because you're wasting my time. There's people out there that need police and that need us to help them. And you're wasting my time right now. What's your name? You're not, you're in handcuffs and you're going to jail tonight. That's the story, end of the story. My wife. So, let's, before we start talking about your wife, what's your name? What's your name and your date of birth? Come on. Go ahead and search his pockets. Stand up. Because if you actually cared to have a conversation, you wouldn't just be staring at me 20 minutes later. You're still n refusing to give us your information. What's in here? I don't even know. You don't know what's in here? I'm Are there any needles in here? I know he's in handcuffs, so you got to, anyways. Yeah, we have probable cause to search him. You don't have anything with me in mind? Here's this. Do you have your phone on you by chance? Will you please let me go? Will you please let me go? No. Please. No. Please. Stop begging. No. My wife just went to the hospital. Please okay. Go. What's your name? Sucks <laughs> for you because you're going to jail. What's your name? Who are you? I'll be right back. Okay, so he's going to jail tonight. Um, there's some other stuff going on. So he won't be an issue the rest of the night, but I just need one of you guys or boss can do it. Just tell him he's barred and for how long. You want to do two years? Yeah, that's okay. what I've already did it once this week. Okay, yeah, just walk over there, tell him, and then I'll get your information. So Tron needs CMS, male time to seizure. Just keep him on his side. If you can, take one handcuff off. Try to try to get one handcuff off at least. EMS, were you clear on the? I mean, Central, were you clear on EMS tonight, too? Do you have a spouse? Hey. Just keep him propped on his side, and he'll be fine. When did he start having a seizure? Was it when she? When did he start now? This was about two minutes ago. Probably when I said that. Yeah, literally, like cool. as soon as he, as soon as he walked out, he was like, "Can I sit down?" I got to collapse. And I asked him what kind of drugs he was taking. Yeah, I'll go grab it. Just in case. Um, that stuff his bag's on, y'all are gonna want to sanitize. Sit him up so he can. Well, sit up, okay? Your problem against that. Come on, man. You got to work with us. I know you don't feel well. All right. Hold on to this because if he if he remotely sees again, he'll vomit all the up. Hmm? Oh, that's not what I was. 
Hmm? Look at me. What? James Brundage. I know James. James Brundage. You, you know your warrant's out of, like, Florida. And they haven't wanted you in the last two years that I've worked here. Oh, you have a new one in our county county? Central Mountain with James Brundage. He can advise EMS. He's 10 4 now. You just have to keep winning around. Hi, James. What we're going to do, you can stand up. I'm going to put you back in handcuffs, okay? We'll just leave him until EMS gets here for now because. He got correct. I mean, he's fucked up. He got so what correct. It, he's on my face, so. That's not wreck face. That's yeah, it is. No, it's not because I've. A bike wreck. I yeah, I've had a wreck too. You don't just get one circle, on each spot. You get road rash. That's not a bike wreck. You that. may have had a bike I've wreck, but those marks are not from a bike wreck. It is. I've gone down the fucking Go hill at home on a bike. Oh, okay. I'm clear. I'll have my own charges. How do you know, Zach? Honestly, I mean y'all don't look nothing alike. So why are you that name? And you know Zach always has warrants for stealing cars. I don't know. You don't know him. You just use his name. I don't know. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just saying I won't be hanging out in his room. Can see? James Brown. He's almost now. I, I've dealt with him several times. Last time I dealt with him, he was stealing from Kroger. I wasn't stealing. They got you on video. That's why they barred you. Hey, you understand how this whole process works, right? Like, you can fake a seizure all you want, right? Or you can, like, fake an overdose hurt, man. or whatever it is you want to do, right? But at the end of the day, even if you go to the hospital, you'll be handcuffed to the bed. When you're released from the hospital, you're still going to go to jail. You understand, I right? Go. Yes, sir. You're Why do you need to be seen? So you're in pain from a previous bike wreck. So does that mean I need to go to the hospital? I have a knee injury from two weeks ago, and it hurts. Why didn't you go to the hospital when you're in the bike wreck? So you decided to come here and play on the computer instead of going to the hospital? That's two blocks down. Who's bike was? Was it your bike? Your James, here's the thing, okay? I might have pity for you if A, you didn't continuously lie to me all the time, or B, continuously do shit that makes me not believe you. I've been here for three years, and I've been dealing with you for three years. I'm very familiar with who you are and how you act and your behavior. Okay, so I don't know why you're sitting here acting like I don't know you. Do you have your ID on you, or does anybody have their ID that I can yeah, just log for ba the barring? Okay. Hey, let's let's hold off on that, Franco. EMS is about to be here. Right, but if you if you start air quotes start to have a seizure again, you're gonna vomit all of that up. So let's wait till EMS gets here. They have saline stuff that they can give you. Okay, you can hold on. Well, that's your problem if you haven't drank anything in two days. Three days, okay. Most people don't voluntarily just choose not to drink anything for three days. I do not drink really with your words. Have you used drugs within those three days? You might as well just use the drugs. You could buy them now. You might as well just submit it. Right off and use. All right, it's actually hard, but this is the first test. That's okay. Central O one. It's a little hard to take out. You're fine, thank you. Just hang out with him for a second. Hi, it's James Brundage. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Six drug user, homeless. As soon as he went in handcuffs, he all of a sudden decides he wants to have a seizure. Don't know if it's actually a seizure if he's just doing that to not go to jail. Um, right. Because he knows he has warrants and whatnot. So. What y'all want to do? If you can just check his vitals and tell me if they're okay. Alright. He gave me the fake name of Zach Morris. I was like, you know I went to high school with Zach Morris, so like, let's try again. Yeah. Oh no. I'm not sitting with James. He lives behind us.
Are you for James? Okay, just hang out here for a second. What happened? I'm telling you, stop. He's okay. Hang out here for a second. Sarah, right? Yeah, he's fine. He just doesn't want to go to jail. Why is he going to jail? Because he said his name was Zach and he's given me all this false information. So he's put in handcuffs and then he wants to start acting a fool and all that. That's because he's a Coney County who's in jail when he's put out a warrant. He's, he's got a Clark County warrant. He don't have a Coney County warrant. What, but give what's, but, what's the Clark County warrant for? I don't know exactly. I'll have to look it up. But giving me a false name and lying to me, is not, that's against the law too. He, he, listen, he has a brain injury. Just sit down for me. He's not on your legs. Here, just sit down. Uh, what? What did he do? They just started the clinic. He didn't even do anything. He's got needles in his pocket, so I don't know. I mean, they're all old. Is he done? He's gone. They got fresh blood on him, hon. I'm familiar with James. I know I know how James acts. What the heck Go ahead. I don't know if he was faking it or not, but he's claiming that he's having a seizure. No, I'm telling you, why? We're here? Yeah. Why are we here? Why is he here? Well, what he's like, been, he's been playing on their computer for hours. I mean, and they don't they don't want him here. He's not a guest. So they asked us to tell him to leave, and I asked him what his name was, and he gave me told me his name was Zach Morris. Idiot. Stop. What's the court kind of want? I don't know. I'll have to double check. I think it's O'Connor County. Mm-mm. It's not O'Connor. It's Clark County, but I don't know why. They told me, but I don't remember. Regardless, if he goes with EMS tonight, he's going to have warrants in the morning for lying to me, okay? So. He does have seizures, though. He takes double credit. Okay. And if he's done When's the last time he used? He just started playing. Where are those scratches from? Well, I know that. I know that, but usually you don't, you don't pick unless you're using. Meth? Is that what he usually uses? What's he usually use? Okay. Are you also staying behind at home? Where else do you not know? What's he saying? He doesn't live in Elberton because he's here every single day. No, my sister. I'm saying, where does he live? Oh, yeah, we're home. I know that. But where's those camp? Where's the camp? House. Why was he behind at home? We used to be there. When was he last there? That's what I asked you. I said, are y'all oh, yeah, still, 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 still at home? Though. Okay. We, we don't know where we're at. Because we, our friends, our parents come on the weekends. So where work. where were you guys going to go tonight? Uh, well, I didn't figure it out. Okay. That's what he was probably figuring out on the computer. Because we stay at the Planet Gallery during the weekend. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could, something could happen if he gets scared. I thought that was him saying, I can't see that. I can't see him all right now. Central check, 29 for Sarah. What was your birthday, Sarah? Can I pull my bag down? Well, just hold on, okay? We don't want to get in their way. Stand for. He said, What? Okay. He definitely put me in the office. He did anything that was good. Okay. They give needles at the swine. I don't know, but I mean, why is he, how could he get in trouble with it? They give it to him. I'm gonna feel good about that. I well, who I called about that? Is he diabetic? Yeah. So they probably gave him the needles for his diabetes. No, they give it to you. They do crack like that. Where is this clinic at? Uh, Sick and Wellness. Right. They, they, yeah, they want you to be clean. God. Yeah. yeah. Go to Advantage. Don't go there. Only they pay for it. Advantage, if you don't have insurance, they don't charge you. They work with you. You're saying this, the can, can clinic on Sycamore? If they let you with COVID right now, they I may not. Okay, well, just hold, wait till they come this way. She said they've been going to the methanol clinic right here. And that they've been handing out crack pipes and meals to their patients. Yeah, she's right there. I mean, take that with a grain of salt, but. There you go. I know you did. 
Yeah. I'll just take Ward, that's fine. There you go. Oh yeah, he's been barred for two years. He wasn't, he might have taken something because he wasn't acting like this at all. He was awake and alert and as soon as we told him he's going to jail, he hit the floor. So he could be thinking, I don't know, but maybe he's not. Hey, Franco, go ahead and get, er, take the handcuff off. Okay. We'll just let him know whenever he comes back to and it's not doing this that he's going to have warrants, okay? Uh, he gave me a false name and obstruction for continuously refusing to identify himself. This is his wife. Do you want to bar her as well so that way neither one of those can come? Or do you just want to bar him? Okay. Hey, Sarah, come here. So he's being barred from here. Okay. They're going to go ahead and bar you as well. You haven't done anything, but just so that way you guys can't come in here together. Vice versa, okay? So you'll be barred as well. How long do you want to do two years or the one? So he's been barred for two years, and so you'll just be barred for two years as well. Okay. And it's nothing that you did. It's just safe precaution, okay? Where are they taking it? I don't know. Do you guys want to feed Monterey St. Mary's? That's iron. Oh, I know. Uh, I know. Then you go to a hospital. Why do you go? What? Do you go to St. Mary's? Yeah. Fletcher slash Terry. Hey, Sarah. Sarah. Come over here. This is all of his stuff. I'm going to give it to you. He's one of St. Mary's, okay? Let me see that cigarette pack real quick. Make sure there's nothing in it. Here's that. Hey, Sarah, real fast. Do you know that he has any medical history? Does he take any medicine? Okay. Any allergies? Let you know. A for show. Sarah and James both barred for two years. All right. That's his bag. It's wet on the bottom, so be careful. Yeah. Uh -huh. hmm. Well, then don't throw that away. Just hold on to it. We'll test it in a minute. He's going to St. Mary's with the EMS. I'll sign 29s on him later. Okay, what was that lid? You're good to clean everything up now. I'm sorry. Yeah, that door is Applebee's. If you just want to put it on, I'm going to throw it away. I just don't want to. Where is he at, Corey? Corey's here. So, did y'all find anything wrong with him? Nope. No? Okay. I didn't think so. We were, I had him in handcuffs before he came in here, and then he faked the seizure. So, he's going to jail. Yeah. I think it scored the entire thing in there. It should work. Yeah, but it may not be heroin. I can't test it again. Oh. Whatever. It's an emergency. Oh, emergency. I've never seen one of those before. Well, it may or may not be enough since I had to pour it. Yeah. Uh, well, so. no, not so bad. Yeah, this may or may not even work. Let's we'll try it though. So you put it in there, and you pop it, and see the color here, and there's what it'll turn if it's positive. For about 10 minutes, and you'll be able to come back. She's in room 22. It's close. Okay, thank you. And it, it could be like just because there wasn't a lot in there. Yeah. So. That's not be a bad batch, too. Yeah. I think it's just like, I think it was just a bad sample. So it's usually it'll be like... The color of Do we have any more left? Is there any more left? No. Okay. I mean, you can go in and ask them. Probably. I'll honestly, give it to you. But if you guys can just medically discharge him, yeah. he's yeah. already done. We're actually trying to get them out of the door. Oh, so he's done? Yeah, he's done. Oh. Cool. Okay. Yeah.
All right, man. What's that? Where y'all going? Where are y'all going? Okay, so. We're going to Edward Rachel. That's going to okay. be a negative. So they said he's medically discharged. There's nothing wrong with him. Correct. But there is. And, and th because he refused the IV and because y'all brought him in, they, 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 that's why. They didn't test him, they didn't do anything, they didn't do anything. Why did he refuse an IV? Because he was scared she was running in his arm. Well, when he literally said at the hotel that he wanted an IV, and now he's refusing an IV? I don't know. Okay, we're not, having, we're not having this back and forth. I, I just know okay. Okay. So here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is if he's refusing treatment from... St. Mary's. So, so you didn't want her to put the IV in? You wanted somebody else to do it? So you refused treatment is what you said. Okay, so what was in that syringe? What was in that needle, man? And be honest. Okay, well I have a needle over there with liquid in it. It said it's a positive for heroin, so. It wasn't any heroin. So what is it? No heroin. What is it then? There wasn't anything in there. It was. It there was, was liquid inside of the water. needle. Uh, it, it was water. I mean, it probably, it was, I don't know. Okay, well, go ahead and I need, I need you to. I'm going to go call okay. them. I need you to send it to No, he needs to go to the hospital. Okay. Oh my God, I his head. He's doing it again. He's having another one. All right, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to grab your things and step outside. I need you to I need you to grab no. I need you to grab as little as you can and step outside for right now. Did he inject the stuff? No, he didn't. He as soon as we came up to him to go ahead and take him out, he threw everything to the ground and fell to the ground. He he has seizures and he has borderline personality disorder, but he got a lot of problems. Ma'am, can you grab your stuff and step outside for me with that other officer? Come on, bud. Come on, bud. He's okay. Look up, he's right. He's very hit. I just set him up. He's going up. Either way, you can't stay here. Get up. Let's go. Get up. Let's go. Get him up and sit him on the, sit him up a little bit. One, two, three. Oh, that's that. Yeah. Come on, get there you go. I want to go ahead and put Well, you guys better walk because we're not driving your own and they're not taking you for the ambulance. You're not. <laughs> you can't call that one from the hospital. We're not a taxi. You can get medical treatment here or you can go to jail. Those are the options. What do you think, Doc? Is that what a seizure looks like? I mean, if y'all need to keep him, that's fine. Yeah. Just call us when you're done. They didn't even check him for anything. They're nothing. Because no, no he, was, he, he, refused. he didn't refuse treatment, though. They didn't, she didn't say anything. She didn't say, if I, take the, if I don't do this IV, you can't, you can't get treated. That's ridiculous. If you can't get the IV, they sudden, can't do their treatment. But she, he, isn't, he, he ain't processing anything. Okay. He didn't even know who I was. Okay. I, he you, keeps saying it. Sarah, like, stop. Oh, stop. You just been in the bathroom for the past hour and a half. I fell asleep. I, I had all these layers of clothes on. And then they come tell me. Yeah. I take my hand off, fix my hand. Huh. My right hand. Huh? My right hand. All he's been doing is sneezing and coughing. So I just got him off the floor before, before, before this before they came in here. Yeah, you got to stop injecting, man. Okay? Stop using that stuff. All right, buddy? Okay. All right, let me get you out of here, okay? Yeah, that's not a seizure, okay? All right, Sarah, I'll show them. I told you not to come here. They don't care here. It's not true. Right. Athens Regional is going to kick you out if there's nothing wrong with them. But there's the, listen, wrong. the hospital is not a place to just come if you're homeless. 
and say something's wrong with me. If they they are medically licensed, if they don't find anything, they so listen. It wouldn't treat me. They're medically licensed, so they know how to do their job. Okay. If someone refuses their them to put an ID in, they can't force it. Okay. I said Meaning, to, for her to stop putting the ID in to get a phlebotomist to do so. Okay. But you understand that that's her job, right? That's her job. Her job is to put IVs into your body. You refuse to have her put the IV in. You refuse treatment. Do you understand how that works? So we can either elongate this process, or we can take all of this, get, or we can get all of this taken get, care of. I'm so good, man. When I get to jail, they're gonna throw me in the fucking cell, and they're gonna slam the door, and they're gonna forget about me. If there's something really fucking wrong with me, I'm gonna fucking die. Well, then why don't? If something's really wrong with it, wrong with you, then why are you not letting them give you treatment? <laughs> it's not that I wasn't. I told her when she. When she said that the doctor said that nobody else could do it, I told her she could go ahead and do it. I don't think you could go ahead and do it. You didn't tell me. I didn't come back in here. I'm sorry, I look like you. You can put an IV in me. No. He said you don't need an IV. He said you're good. He, he, you're, you've been discharged. You've got your paperwork. You're done. You need to stop using drugs, is what he says. Oh. Yep. You understand how easy it is for them to call Athens Regional and tell them, hey, that guy that just came in, yeah, we already treated him, and there's nothing wrong with him. And then them not treat you either. You know, whatever hospital you decide to go to today, we're going to be right there outside of the door waiting for you. You understand that, right? So I say we get this out of the way and we stop playing these games because there's nothing wrong with you. The doctor said that there was nothing wrong with you. That's 12 years of school telling you that there's nothing wrong with you. So I says yes, we stop playing these games, man. Because it'll be a lot worse on the run. It'll be a lot worse on the back end. I'm telling you right now. They're not doing anything. Nope. That's not why. This is really judgmental. I want to go to the hospital without police interference because that, that's, that's, that's bullshit. How long were they here before we got here? Hours. Hours? Okay. No, so how is that police no, interference? No, that's not true. Yes, it is true. It, about an hour or two? No, because the paramedics said that the what time did he get police, here? they called ahead with a safe store that y'all gave them. Let me look. So how is it police interference if y'all were here for hours before we showed up? We didn't bring him here. The ambulance brought him here. It's also because he refused treatment. Just saying. He's got a brain injury? Yes. Oh, oh, oh right. Okay. He really does. Feel the back of his head. He cracked his skull. Can't argue with that. I'm not a doctor. Mary, it looks like you have a lot of influence on him. I suggest you uh, you let him know what to do. Y'all need to take him to advantage then. Because Is he having a mental health crisis? Obviously. 
I don't know. If, if it's not, I mean, well, that's not how that nobody's works. checking anything. It's not right. Well, they tried and they refused. So, uh, I we keep we keep going around and around and around. Oh, okay. So that's where we're at now. Oh, I'm sure he does. Schizophrenia. Oh, he has schizophrenia. He says he's got something. That's okay. We'll search him before we put him in the patrol car. And they'll take all his stuff at the jail, and then they'll give him a jumpsuit, and he'll be good. All right, Mary, that's good. I need you to step back to where you were, please. No! All right, James, come on. All right, Mary, no. step back to where you were, please. Come on. Mary, go. Okay, well, you are, Look, so. Look, he's got like 10, 13 in my head. Get, Can we get, get one more, please? Or he's not like he's going to kill himself. Okay, they, there's nurses at the jail. Come on. James, I'll tase you. Stop. Stop. Can you get her out of here? James, you can stop or I'll tase you. Those are your options. Just log 1010. We're getting them 1095 now. Okay. Units can slow it down. We're good. Just keep another unit in route. All right, so if you've got enough energy in you to fight with us, then you're definitely okay and can stand up. Come on. Come on. Help, 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 help. You, you guys have to stand, stand, stand. Let's go. That's another charge. You just put your knee in his bag. Sarah? Go get your you can leave. Get a Grab your stuff and leave. Who was it? I lost it. I don't know about it. This is on camera, bro. I got it. I got it. Um, we can. We can. We can. That's fine. I can't fucking move my goddamn legs, bro. We, we got a wheelchair. We're going to put you in, okay? Appreciate it. Help us get you up. Ready? Don't Do you guys want to bar her for any? I'm sorry. Do we want to bar her? Come on. Bar her from the hospital? Yeah. Why? Because. I wouldn't come here anyway. Bar me. I'm going to do it. I'll never come back. Clearly, I'm behind here. I did yell, I'm sorry. Okay. You literally didn't even land on your back. We're not playing that, James. You put your name in the fire. That's what happens when you fight police. He could have broken back before. He could have complied. He could have in there and stood up and not fought. Yeah, but he could have broken back before. Yeah, but he could have complied in there and stood up and not fought it. So you can shut your trap and leave. So grab your stuff and go. Come on. Yeah, why do you fight? Grab your stuff and leave. Yeah, I mean, fuck this up, God damn it. Okay. I'll let the jail know that you're suicidal. I'll do that. Oh no. Oh well, since he's wanting us to know. Well, he's off. He can't kill himself now. Oh, he can't. Okay. I hope not. Unless you got something. Well, make sure he doesn't have anything he can swallow. Well, I'll let the jail know. All right. She's his wife, so she can take everything. I can't talk right now. What's up? We just need one. That's all. That's that. That's. I'm just irritated. I'll explain everything later. Thank you, Shannon. If she takes forever, let me know. We'll have another unit come out. Sorry to involve you. Hey, do you want them in yours or mine? Yours or mine. Hey, that's what the job. It don't matter. I can take them because. Okay, we'll go in this one. Yeah. Just go around.
Do you have anything in your pockets I should know about? You have anything that can stick or poke me? Can you search him real quick, Tori? I've ripped I my gloves. I didn't put anything in my pocket. Well, Did y'all take a hand in my pocket? I didn't put anything. Alright, stand up, James. James, stand up. We're not playing this. He literally just fought us. Stand up. Good boy. Just let him get a felony. Put him in. It's fine. He's I'll good. let him He's get charged. Watch your head down. Watch your head. There we go. It's no, not he's good to lay down. He's fine. <laughs> he's James, you gotta sit up. You can't lay down. I think I can. You got. I really can't. Too easy. James, I'm telling you, sit up. James, oh. sit up. Put your feet down. Put your feet down. James, put your feet down. Put your feet down. Now sit up. Now back up, James. Now scoot back. Keep scooting. Keep scooting. Sit up. Sit up. Can you reach in and buckle that by chance? Thank you. Uh -huh. Appreciate it, guys. You want to, we can just talk here. So he's been medically cleared. Hospital said he never had a seizure. They said there was a few jail incidents. He's just been faking. So I called the jail, explained to them what he did earlier. He's here, medically cleared. We try to go hands on and get put handcuffs on him. He starts fighting Franco or Videla. I don't even know what your last name is. Doesn't matter. Starts fighting him. Um, I pull up my taser. I threaten the tase. I never did, but. He got handcuffs on, and then now he's playing the card all over again of what he did earlier. The jail's aware of his behavior. So, I'm just gonna, since it's only been a couple hours, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the charges on from earlier in addition to the additional charges. Is okay. your watch broken? No, I don't think so. I think it just popped off of the case again when I picked him up. Let's double check right. it. So, yeah, use of force and. Yeah. Yeah, he was face down when I said I was gonna pull the taser out. He never saw it. He just heard me say I was gonna use it. Um, you okay? Yeah, yeah. I just got I got behind him, dropped down, and like. It was just a shit show. Right, where did that happen? Uh, right over in here. In the lobby. If you and want all to take the nurses a look. watched it. The security guard hopped in. A doctor hopped in. Yeah, go ahead and run him out there so he's not. I'm gonna go there. with her uh, in case he starts around again, unless you want me to stay behind. Up. It's up to you. That's fine. If that way we can, just, if you want to, you can, or I can just have all the jail staff come out. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure you'll have I all the jail I'm staff. Here. All right, that's fine. All right, so are you gonna follow her? Or is she gonna... Um, yeah, she can. She can just go with the jail staff. Yeah. Just let the jail know. I'll just let them know that I need. Yeah. All right. So what information do we need in there? I mean, honestly, not really anything. The substance that he had, we tested. It didn't come back to anything really. Uh, he's claiming there was water in the syringe. Um, if you want to go get Shannon, she's, she should be in the hall. But I'll go get her information real quick. Let me uh, get a mask because they're I got one right here. Um, let me put these up and I'll go in there with you because I got to do my. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and head that way. Uh, or unless you want to, we can just talk here. So he's been medically cleared. Hospital said he never had a seizure. They did their due jail incident. He's just been faking. So I called the jail, explained to them what he did earlier. He's here, medically cleared. We try to go hands on again, put handcuffs on him. He starts fighting Franco or Videla. I don't even know what your last name is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and head that way. Make sure you're still sitting up. Why are you gonna get sick? Huh? James, why are you gonna get sick? So why didn't you ask to go to Advantage from the beginning? 
you keep trying to go everywhere but jail. I get jail sucks, but when you break the law, that's what happens. You were not unconscious when you left. I was. I was unconscious. All the time. They just set me up. They discharged me. Okay. So why, okay, so why did you tell her you didn't want the IV? I didn't tell her I didn't want the IV. I told her to stop because she was hurting me bad, man. She was like mad, like jabbing me with these things. She was mad at me. So I'm going to let her baby. Man. She's probably having, James, I mean this with all the respect I can possibly give. She's probably jabbing you in your mind. You think it's jabbing, but she's probably trying to find a vein. If you shoot up, if you shoot up drugs all the time, then your veins are, they're done. That's why you shouldn't use drugs. Because if you need to go to the hospital and get medical help, they can't find a vein to put your IV in. Does that not make sense at all? Right. You, I'm okay. I'm. It don't matter how many days it's been since you've used or anything. If you've used constantly for years, your veins get shot. That's what I'm checking now. Hey, what you got? I have one mail, but I'm going to need extra units. All right, what's going on? Um, prior to this, he just fought us. Uh, can I? Signal 35. All right, come on around. There was absolutely no reason for you to try to fight us. No reason. Huh? Not in your brain. In my disease mind, it was. Well, that just added you another charge, so I'm saying it's. That's literally what you did, James. I grabbed your hand and put you in a handcuff, and you literally tried to fight myself and my partner. I just wanted to go to 1013 so I could go to the van and get medically exclusive. Okay, but you're rationally thinking enough to doing something in that way. That means you don't need to be 1013. 1013 people can't think plausibly. You're clearly thinking clearly. Sit up. This was not around your neck. Why did you do that? Sit up. Or sit through. Alright. Now push yourself to the other side. James. I really can't. I really fucking can. Yes, you can. You're just not trying. Come on. <clears throat> You know why it's on sideways? Because you wouldn't let us put it on the proper way. Come on. James. So, I called prior. I talked to your sergeant. He's been faking seizures every time we touch him. Um, we just... Got him from the hospital, medically cleared. As soon as we tried to put oh, handcuffs man. on him, he tried to fight us. Oh. Um, so he's he's 100% okay. He's just faking know. everything. Get up off your car, man. Let's go. After I got off the phone with you, he tried to fight us. So. Mm. Of course he did. Yeah. 